A manhunt is underway for a man accused of shooting an Okmulgee police officer this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rozzi. That officer is okay. He was released from the hospital just before 11 this morning. That's the good news. This is a picture of the man police say shot the officer, 34-year-old Christopher Alfred Harris. Now, this situation started when police got a burglary call at a house near 2nd and Central in Okmulgee. Fox 23's John Acebus has been talking to police and U.S. Marshals all day long. He's live now. Now, John, there is a lot happening and going on. You've been updating us. What's the latest? Well, as Shay was saying, it was all over at 2nd and Central, but about an hour and a half ago, Marshals moved us up the street. They said there was going to be a large presence. That has now moved over to 2nd and Grand Street. You can see some Okmulgee police officer vehicles. I think Light Horse Police just came up there. I don't want to go any further right because there's some agents in the road with their guns drawn. In fact, I'd say about 15 minutes ago, it looked like agents went into a home with their rifles drawn or at least next to a home. I heard some yelling, but that could have been a neighbor. Either way, this has hit this neighborhood hard, including one woman's home. Law enforcement vehicles and task force trucks sit in an alleyway near 2nd and Central Thursday afternoon after they say this man, Christopher Alfred Harris, shot an Okmulgee police officer here. He woke up about 2.15, 2.30 to uh, rapid gunfire. Anita Nichols was watering her plants this morning when I found her on her front porch just a few hours before she heard gunfire. I was shocked um, that they were so close. I mean, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you're kind of still a little disoriented and you hear it, but you're not sure what you're hearing. But when she saw it in her backyard, she believed it. This is where the officers were, we're kind of right back here in the backyard. They were back here. Then she showed me not one, but two bullet holes on her home. I saw this bullet hole, they told me about the second one. I didn't know that was there. She says she and her husband were ready. We grabbed our, our defense and waited for the police to show up. OSBI spokesperson Gerald Davidson says an old Mogi police officer was ambushed this morning while responding to a burglary in progress call. Two officers responded. One, one went to the front door to contact the resident. The other one went to the rear of the residence. Uh, as the officer was in the rear of the residence, an individual uh, ambushed the officer. There was an exchange of gunfire and the uh, officer was uh, shot. The officer has since been released from the hospital. Thursday afternoon, the search grew even larger near 2nd and Central as multiple agencies and a task force attempted to find the suspect who is still believed to be armed and dangerous. Well, anytime there's somebody, uh, you know, who's involved in something like this and who is armed and, and not found, uh, you know, there is concern for the safety of the community. And so everybody should be very conscious of their surroundings and what's going on. Nichols is certainly keeping her eye out. There's been a large police presence and agent uh, presence throughout the entire afternoon, but nothing like what we're seeing right here at 2nd and Grand Street. And that's just the half of what you're seeing. Again, we don't want to show too much of that because of what's going on tactically down the road, but just it's grown so much. It was last believed that he was seen heading downtown uh, west from this area. That was early in the morning, but it seems that agents have enough of a reason to believe that he could be in this area. They have drawn a lot of those resources right here to 2nd and Grand Street. I'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.